Hi everyone, welcome back to Yes Let's. Today's tutorial is going to show you how to make sock puppets. Sock puppets are really simple and once they're finished, they're a great way to entertain yourselves with a puppet show, entertain friends, family with a little puppet show and everything you need to make your sock puppet, you should be able to find in your house. So, the first thing we need to do, as always, is gather our materials. The number one thing you are going to need is a sock. Any sock will do, it doesn't matter what, what colour. And today I'm going to show you how to make two different varieties of sock puppets. So any old sock will do. You're going to need some materials to decorate your sock with. Now, for this one, I've chosen some pink felt. I've chosen some scrunched up tissue paper and also googly eyes and I'm going to need my felt tips as well. There's a whole variety of different things that you can use if you don't have those specific things. Other great things that work really well is ribbon, string, um, normal coloured paper, tissue paper and again any other socks that you have that you could use for extra material. You're also going to need a pair of scissors and again if you need help with the scissors you'll, you can ask an adult at home and you're going to need some glue. I find that PVA works best on a fabric base but if you do have other glues that would work as well. Okay so the first thing we need to do is position our sock before we start decorating. To do that, you need to place your sock onto your hand, making sure the heel is on the top of your hand. So the heel just there on the top of your hand, because what you then need to do is push the sock inside itself in between your thumb and your fingers so you can start to create the mouth. And when you do that, you'll see that the heel is now over my knuckles. So it's nice and smooth, you don't get any bumps. So you want the heel on top so that when you push it in to make your mouth, the heel part of your sock lays flat on your knuckles and then it's gonna give you the perfect shape. You obviously need to then take it off of your hand to decorate. So pinch the top and the bottom that you folded in and pull it gently off your hand. If you do it that way, that means your mouth that you folded in you can just flatten it out and it stays in perfect position so that when you put it back on your hand later that will all be in the right place. So I've decided for this one I'm going to use this pink felt and what I've done is cut out two wiggly shapes for ears and I'm going to work out where I need to position those. That's going to be just about on the heel section where my knuckles were. So that's gonna make two of the ears. So all you need to do is get your glue, little bit of glue on your material. As I say, I'm using felt. You could also make shapes for ears out of paper. You could make them out of tissue paper, string, any other material that you've got. And your ears can really be whatever shape you like. I've chosen the pink felt because my socks are light pink, so I think it works well with the colours together. So I've stuck those on now, and you should just be able to see there, they're attached. So it may take a little while for your glue to dry. You have to be a little bit patient with PVA, especially on fabrics. The next thing you want to do is stick on your eyes. So again, you may need to wait a little while for the PVA to dry, but all you need to do is put a bit of PVA onto your googly eye and stick those onto your sock just in front of where the heel is. So just in front of where the heel is, either side, we're going to stick those on. Nice and simple. The only tricky bit is you need to wait for the PVA to dry. So your sock puppet should now have two eyes. 
for my tutorial for the giraffe puppet I um, gave a quick tip if you don't have googly eyes you can get a piece of white card cut it into a circle and draw a little black dot in the middle on any light coloured socks such as pink white anything that you could see a black pen on you could just to do two black dots either side of your sock and they make great eyes as well as I say with a sock puppet it's all kind of up to you what kind of character you want your sock puppet to be so what we're going to do now is stick on this hair and I'm going to try and give my sock puppet some hair just on top of the heel so that when I put it on my hand it will stand out on the top okay so this bit's a little bit messy but what I find easiest especially when you're putting on thin materials is to where you want them put the glue on directly on to the sock and then you can stick them on so again I'm using this stretchy um, shredded up pink tissue paper but you could make some hair out of anything you could cut out colored paper into different shapes you could use tissue paper you could use string anything you like really if you find that any of your material bits aren't sticking very well onto the sock what you could do is get a needle and thread and just put a little stitch in them to secure them. I would advise asking an adult to do this step for you if you need to. Again, it depends what type of glue you're using, what type of materials you're using. But just to secure my felt ears, I'm going to put a little stitch in them. But please ask for help for that step. Okay, so the sock puppet is nearly complete. I'm going to add one more decorative piece so for this I'm going to put the sock puppet onto my left hand making sure that the heel of this sock is where I want it to be on my knuckles so there you can see the mouse in the right place the eyes are in the right place and it's got some crazy hair and two ears. So the final thing I'm going to do with this one, and the reason I put it on my left hand is so that I can use my right hand to draw on it, but keep it in the right position. So I'm going to take my felt tip and I'm going to give this puppet some nice eyebrows. Again, this is really simple with your felt tip. So now we've got some nice little eyebrows on the puppet and I'm also going to give the puppet some lips. So felt tips are great for this. They colour onto the sock really easily. I'm going to go around the mouth that's why it's easier if you're adding any details such as a nose eyebrows color to the lips it's easier to put it onto the hand that you don't write with so you can get it in the right place or you could ask somebody else to put it on their hand and then color it in whilst it's on somebody else's hand So there we have a completed sock puppet. Again, mouth folds in and then you can use your puppet however you like. So I'm now going to show you how to make a second sock puppet, this time using a dark sock. Obviously on the first one we made with the lighter colour it was easy to use felt tips to put features on it. When you're using a darker sock, if that's all you have, it's not so easy to add any features 
but it, you can still decorate it. So again, first thing you need to do, put the sock onto your hand, heel side up, fold in between your thumb and your fingers until the heels rest nicely across the top of your knuckle. When you take it off, pinch the ends together so that you don't lose your mouth shape. And then you can just fold it nice, like so. For this one, I'm going to use some fake fur material to make some ears. I'm going to, again, use some googly eyes, but this time I've gone for slightly smaller ones because it changes the look of the face. And I'm also going to use a second sock to add some coloured stripes. So first thing I'm going to do is cut out the coloured stripes. This is just another old sock that I had, an old trainer sock. Again, if you need help with scissors, ask somebody at home. So I'm just going to cut off the end of my sock. Cut off the heel of my sock. We don't need those bits. And I'm going to just cut some thin strips out of what's left of my sock. And you'll see we have them in a nice loop there. And what I'm actually going to do is make it really easy. We've got our sock here. You know that this ends the mouth and you know that this part goes across your knuckles. So this part's gonna be going down the rest of your wrist and onto your arm. So while it's in a loop, I'm going to just position those how I want them because they're nice and stretchy. And they're just by adding those three simple loops of a different color, we've got some extra decoration, some extra detail on our sock. All you need to do, stick those down like we did before. You can leave them on there, just put some glue underneath. Again, material might take a little while to stick down. Stick them on and there we go, they'll stay in position. Now, out of the fur that I'm going to use, I've cut two triangle shapes and I'm going to stick those on as some ears. So, got the sock. Where the heel is, you're going to want one ear that side and one ear the other side. Again, just a little bit of PVA on the point of the triangle and press that down nice and firmly onto your sock. Exactly the same, other ear, a little bit of PVA onto the point of the triangle and press that down. So you now have two ears by the heel of your sock. What I've also done with a tiny piece of material fur is cut out a little nose shape. And this is one of the ways you can add details onto a darker sock where you can't put any felt tip on it that will show up. You can stick material, paper, ribbon, string on as stripes, patterns, noses, hair, anything you like. So I've just chosen to match my ears, a little fur nose. So again, I'm going to put a little bit of PVA on that. I'm gonna hold my sock in my hand like this so I can see where the heel is. And I'm gonna put the nose right on the end, just above where the mouth is. So really simple, stick that on. And we've now got a little nose.
Last thing to do on this one is add the eyes. So again, a little bit of PVA onto the back of your eye. Second eye. Don't worry if you get any PVA onto the sock where it's not meant to be because it's going to dry clear anyway, so we won't see it once it's dried. You're going to want to leave your sock for about half an hour to an hour to let the PVA glue dry before you start using it. So this one was really simple. We stuck some extra stripes on. We've stuck some ears on, we've stuck some eyes and a little nose, and there we have a second sock puppet out of a darker sock, not needing to use any felt tip, still got lots of character, and completely different to the first one that we made. So once they've dried, you can use them to do a little puppet show.